the most. It, it was a great, great game, and commiserations, of course, to to Imperial. Right, we gotta we gotta attack it one more time. They played a fantastic tournament, but the the guy coming onto the stage <laughs> right here, he was just slightly congratulations, slightly better, man. Congratulations. Yeah, I mean, this guy right here, he's one that was scaring all of Imperial, though, <laughs> at the beginning of things. Those ramp holds from Nikodaz, fantastic, ah, fantastic. Congratulations, unbelievable. Thank we you. have to ask, we were talking so much about kind of the pressure, about the memories of being in the situation before, and then you get pushed into OT after you actually should have just won vertical, probably. Tell me how you feel like you've grown uh, in comparison to when you've been in this situation before. I mean, I could definitely feel the same vibes. Like, <laughs> I have never made so many mistakes on, like, so stupid mistakes on that A side of Vertigo before that I did this game. And I could definitely feel, like, the nerves coming to me. So I think our coach was good at calming me down personally and our entire team and just told me to focus on the game. And, yeah, we made it work at the end. We talked about it. It's been a story for you guys that you've been so close so many times. You've had six match points, you know, in order to go into the playoff. If you look back at the Stockholm media as well, now you finally did it. Tell me how it feels to be inside your body right now. I mean, it feels amazing. <laughs> I'm all, like shaking, shaking yeah. even after yeah. the game is finished, you know. It's just uh, such a surreal feeling. I'm incredibly happy for, yeah. to be able to play on such a sick, state, uh, such a sick scene. Yeah. Um, I mean, maybe it's going to help now because... Like next time, it'll be in front of 5,000, 6,000, 10,000 people. Do you feel like you've kind of crossed a hurdle here? Because in general, when we look at what you've done, like yesterday even versus FaZe, Inferno was insanely good. Of course, unfortunately, you can't close it out, but there's so many good signs here. What is your expectation for the arena? I mean, we already cleared our goal, which is making two playoffs. So yeah. we are just really happy to be there and be able to play on that stage. So I think we're just going to do our best to just enjoy that game. We're going to get our stage and hopefully we're going to win it. Yeah, uh, Maui. Yeah. Maui. yeah. Okay. You guys going into Vertigo probably thought in some, some way, in the back of your mind, you had this in the bag. But did you expect them to mount that comeback and to put that much pressure on you? Honestly, not really. We expected to have a pretty easy time on Vertigo. We know that it's not one of their favorite maps, and it's our favorite map for sure. Right. So we expect a comfortable win. And even after we got nine run on T, we weren't really satisfied with it. But we said it's fine. We're just going to close this out on the CT side, and we got a good start. And then we yeah start to what, choke. What did you think they did that it made so much pressure for you? I think Fur was really good at catching the timings on A. He was a really big part in the victory, f uh, not victory, but the, how close back. it got. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was really annoying, especially for me, because mm -hmm. usually I'm I'm used to getting a lot of space on that A side because people are like scared to walk up because I'm holding a lot with the AWP, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he made it really hard for me for sure. Nikodos, uh, give us a few words on some of the younger players as well. Siphon and, and Yabi played a fantastic game as well. For them, this must feel uh, yeah, equally important and equally nice. I mean, I've said it when I joined the team with Siphon that he's most likely the best aimer in Denmark, and I'm confident in saying that. Okay. And it definitely showed on Ferno and Pit. He was so instant. Yeah. And Yabi, he, like, you shouldn't think that he's 18 years old. The amount of things he communicates and the calls he makes, even though only being 18 years old, you know, it's... It's really inspiring for me as well. Yeah, because I, I was listening to your comps, you know, throughout the game and, and sneak peeking a little bit of you guys while you were you were playing. And, and you're right, the comps were super, super fluent. I've heard Astralis communicate, I've heard Heroic, but you guys are on level, if not even better. Is that something you guys have, you know, as a, as one of your strengths, you'd say, or, or is that just normal for, for you guys to have that crisp communication? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we have we have had coaches come in and talk to us and say that that's the best communication they've ever heard, even playing in Taiwan, you know. I agree. Wow. I definitely think it's one of our strengths. For sure. Okay. Uh, any other questions, or shall we proceed? D I mean, if you if you have anything. Uh, well, I wanted to actually throw up the graphic because I think it's going to be a cool moment oh, yeah, for you because yeah. we have all the teams that qualified for the playoffs, and of yeah. course, the Copenhagen Flames are amongst those. And uh, yeah, you got us. It's probably pretty cool to see that. I mean, it's crazy to be among these guys. The, these guys, yeah. Yeah, unbelievable. It's been a dream of mine for a long time. Yeah, Maui. Uh, first thoughts. These are the teams in our playoffs. I, I mean, I think that. A lot of these teams people expected, a couple people didn't. I mean, Spirit, Nikodaz, initial thoughts on Spirit. They they cruise through this legend stage. I mean, they are sick, yeah. being honest, you know, and watching Dexter go stream after every single official, after demo reviewing, it's inspiring. It's, like, it's inspiring, motivating, you know, it makes me want to do more to be the best to do in more than him, you know? He said after his victory, actually, that he has 180 hours in the past two weeks. Are you, are you going to match that? <laughs> I'm not going to match that because I, I think that's a little too much, you know? <laughs> yeah, um, it's, 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 it's a lot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much and uh, he needs. I'm a bit worried that he might burn out, but 
I mean, he knows what works for him, you know? Yeah, and it's right now that they have to perform. Uh, and Pimp, um, you know, I feel like there's a fire that's been lit in some of these teams that maybe were not expected to get there. Yeah. And some very expected names that drop the ball. You have to believe that anything is possible. I mean, you're going into the playoff, right? You, you go into a new tournament, I'm almost going to say, yeah. right? You have a day off tomorrow to, to recope, figure out who your opponent is going to be. And, and yeah, these quarterfinals, these playoff games, they, they kind of live their own life in a way, right? Mm -hmm. You can look at all the stats, you can look at all the internal matchups, but at the end of the day, when you enter that stage, you got to believe that you can't be the better team on the day, right? I'm sure you have that feeling as well. We've seen you play some fantastic counters, right? Obviously, you guys are dealing with a bit of nerves. Maybe some may even say choke in, in certain moments, but as, as if I asked before, do you think you're over that hurdle now? Do you think you're coming in more relaxed and without any pressure on your backs? I mean, definitely now, we I don't think we have any pressure whatsoever going onto the stage and stuff like that. I mean, I think the biggest worry for me is going to look out and see my family in the, in the audience, you know? Well deserved. Well yeah. deserved. Oh, man. Yeah, enjoy it all. You've deserved it. Let's take a look at